This team's the Sixers, meeting Milwaukee for the first time this year. So happy you could join us for all the action on NBC. In this building, this time the Sixers won here in November of 13. That was Link Brown, and why not? He's got him by about five inches. Simmons beautifully done in one motion. We'll get you the ball. Go to work. Sixers thus far keeping it very simple on the offensive end. The newly minted all-star Joel Embiid galloping right past John Henson. He's got an inch on him, and he's got at least 25 pounds on him as well. And Henson has always been a shot blocker. It's easy to get him up in the wood. And the whistles remain silent. Blood, so they got him in that trade for the Phoenix Suns. It was three games into the season for Phoenix. And Tony Snell. Way. It's a great point, Olive. They got him in a trade with Chicago last year for Michael Carter Williams, who is now a reserve with Charlotte. Robert Covey. And Bede hits for three. And he's a starter in the Eastern Conference All Stars. And I think the indicator, too, is you see the nice little give and go there between middle and Bede. Starts to play in back to backs. He said earlier that he expected at some point this season to play in back to back situations. One of the greatest point guards in NBA history. You would think he does not impress easily. Seen it before, I would imagine, to a high extent. And he's quite a story. Tenth kick of the draft a couple of summers ago. Beautiful handoff, Sharich. TJ McConnell hook. Cut. Dario had to find it. Matthew Dellavedova, the former Cleveland Cavalier, the Australian number eight on the floor for the first time. Uniform they want to wear on the Sixers, and their whites looking good. Look at McConnell doing his thing in the backcourt. That, I dare say, that's vintage. McConnell now fronting the 6'8 Middleton. You're okay with him catching it out there. It's a savvy move by Missing This is the 45th of the season for the Bucks. Anderson, a burst to the hoop, and he threw down two. We talked about a 10th pick in the NBA draft by the Celtics, and he has shown that he can shoot a little bit, and what do you know, on his first touch, and do something with it. Listen, you're up from the G League, the window of opportunity can be very small. Young, who has some unfinished business. Three on the way from Brown, and he drills it. Sterling, who no respect for the 19-year veteran. There's Covington. It's for three, and down it goes. A pair of threes here in the first for Philadelphia. Not a bad way. This is an aperitif. McConnell all the way to the cup. T.J. McConnell, I dare say, all night. Just judging by his play and his body language, the way that chest is puffed out, he is brimming with confidence right now. Confidence is, I don't think he can keep up with you. Catch and go before the double team and the help come. Oh, that time, the Wild Cabarro. Over the crowd, oohed and odd, the Milwaukee bench got oh. up off their feet, but they watched this go. To be conscious of the world around him. Joel Embiid getting a piece of that one. Delavadova for three, you could count it. Had a unique release. Oh, yeah. That's a unique release You're right. Delavadova. Yeah, way behind the head. Yeah, like a little slingshot. Will, he should have been at the line. Completely agree with you on the Rock Covington call. And that last foul by Bledsoe, that put them in the penalty. Knocked down. Sixers in control of this one. Shards, that's a gorgeous pass. I mean, Dario really put it on the ring option for the Bucs. It's Bledsoe, and now Amir Johnson taking over. Sixers trying to lock all windows and doors here as Snell. And everyone to that second chance opportunity. 13-year vet continues to give the Sixers quality minutes. Back it up, Joel Embiid. By 15, by as many as 16. They have been in control of this one. Justin has Plumley on his back if he wants him. You betcha. Joel Embiid working hard for the money. Now for Embiid, who averages a shade under 24. Bledsoe hits the three. May have covered a lot more ground. He's not utilizing his speed in transition. Tony Snell. Connell is stuck on Middleton, so the help coming from Embiid and Middleton just scooting past. 
Wawa Cabarro, that is for three, and down it. Cross green, Robert looking for Joel. There was a lot of stuff going on to occupy defenders. Dario Shark that time playing some bully ball. Defender they've thrown at Dario thus far. Too small, can't cover him. Brown was on him earlier, now Middleton. He's good. Now the starting center for the Bucks. Sharich in no man's land where no man. They double up and in fact Middleton comes up with a steal. That's that hand that hurt him he heard earlier. Inevitable. Floorboard for Covington. He'll launch a three and down it goes. Robert Covington looking like I asked him what it was like. He said it was pasta. I said Fusilli looks like that. If you want to get specific. Come on, couple of fishing. That's one-on-one -on -one defense. They're not even Cavaliers. I bet you there is Maker hitting the jump shot. I bet you Della Vadova, Mark, when he robbed in coming here and playing the way he has played. I don't think anybody foresaw that. Otherwise, he would have been a second-round pick as Simmons gets the Sixers. Joel, four-round one. He's open. There he is amidst a pack of players. And he'll get one more at the line. Jo McConnell working it with Embiid. Has it. The attempt blocked by Bledsoe, and Bede rolling in and throwing down two. And Bede getting Maker to bite, driving with determination, he'll get the hoop. Robert 12th in the NBA in steals. T.J. McConnell spinning in, but unfinished business. Here's Plumley picking cherries, if you will. And he's commissioned officer two summers ago. Thank him for his service to our country as Tina Taylor up. And Booker will get one more at the line. Here's wide open. The Sixers give it up. Covington is able to get it back. Well done by Robert Covington. Good hustle. McConnell bound and determined you can. Point guard in this offensive set is TLC. Wawa Cabarro for three and down it goes for Team. Hope Robert and those guys don't relax too much. I anticipate them needing to come back in the ball game. Well, just the only was able to get in the 31 game. And there is the theory that in the voting, Sharch and Embiid in effect cancel each other out, allowing Brogdon to do his thing. But and who could blame the coaching staff and the medical staff for wanting to sit him down? I just, you know, he didn't want to. Uh, beautifully done, and for this game. Late second and through the third. They had major turnover issues in the third. That charge for three, and down it goes. Timote made that play happen. Oh, McConnell tracked by Middleton. Forget it. And the Sixers trying to run away now and high. <laughs> All right. Brown going for it with McConnell. TJ getting ready to dive on the floor. Brown, you can count it. He was fast. Dario, everything he can handle today. And B dribbling out of a potential double team. Got the dish from Sharch and for Dario hit. Henson delivering two. And B with a shot clock running down, drills it. About to go two games above the 500 mark. McConnell. And put back by Amir Johnson. So again, the Sixers break a six-game losing streak against Milwaukee in this building. Their first victory against the Bucks here at home since November of 2013. That was an overtime win at Brett Brown's first year as coach. Brett Brown's team now two games above the 500 mark for the first time since December 7th. They had a great.